Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Souls from Up Here. Of course, your game operator and narrator Souls. Welcome back to the Pegasus Expedition. Where we left off, well, the Hanor decided they were going to try and be, um, well, we were at war with them, so I'm not surprised they decided to try and take our uh, lapse in judgment of moving the fleets back away from the front line into their advantage. However, uh, uh kind of drew my ire on them, so I guess that's on them. Uh, so we're going to try and finish the off the Hanor here as quickly as possible. We only have 10 turns maximum uh, for gaining access to, I believe it was the Hanor, that is correct, uh, to their area of space so we get access to the Hanor and wipe them out. Don't really feel like starting a war with the Hanor. They are very large. As you can see, they have 110 systems. Very powerful military. We're just going to kind of chill on the back lines for them for now. And see what we can do about maybe getting the rest of these cleaned up. So, we gotta try and find out where exactly our operative is located at. I believe we're actually still currently undergoing operations here. Hmm, that's the wrong button. I believe so, the Ancorum Derelict is still active. Hmm, maybe not. I'll have to give it one more turn and find out. And thank you very much to some very sharp-eyed viewers as well for highlighting an issue we were having in the last episode where we were having uh, problems trying to build uh, Argus facilities. And it was highlighted that I had forgotten that you can only build a maximum of three or four tier three structures on any planet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Ese over here. Ese? Ese. And we're actually going to spend a little bit of time uh, stripping down its facilities. Maybe if I go to the right screen, this would be better. Uh, mainly interceptors, the advanced dry docks, shipyard complex. We're going to strip all this out. I think the fleet base has to go as well. And then we're going to build... Uh, nope, we can only build one of these on, on a planet anyway. So, but regardless of, if we remove one of the, uh, the other tier threes, we should have the ability to go ahead and build one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we remove the interceptor building. Oh, he drop. An Argus facility down. Now, that means we need more colonizable space. Oh, and that means... I believe we have one here too. We do. And it has to be colonizable. It cannot just be buildable. It has to be colonizable. So that's going to take a little bit of work. We are going to focus on getting uh, Hanor's colonizable section of space here as well. As quickly as we possibly can. <laughs> oh, things are going to get rough here real quick. Because we are eventually going to have to turn on the, the Noahs. Because they actually have at least two more that I'm aware of up here that we need. And there should be some more just down the way. Oh, choices, choices. That's right, we'll get her figured. I'll take the fleets we have at the moment and run with them. We do have two fleets that are currently upgrading to tier three. Um, but that is going to be a very long pace. Well, you know, a free state emergence. Oh. Sir, some groups of Ancorum deserters and refugees have formed a troublesome faction. They call themselves the Inora Free State. No problem being free, but for them, it means they're free to attack any ships that not, <laughs> that's not their own. Basically, it's uh, it's piracy. Guys. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we got pirates. We know exactly how to deal with pirates. We are now at war with the Honor Free States. Sir, Kulambayer would like to meet with you. Some groups of Ancorum deserters and refugees have formed a troublesome faction. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what he has to say about this group. Director. He wanted to meet. Yes, I just wanted to warn you about the threat of the Honor Free State. They are deserters, but not just anybody. The core group of the faction is elite unit led by my ex-subordinate, Admiral Ank American. Ah, oh, what's with these? Ah, oh, man. Frank Grandma, I always thought there was something wrong with Ank. Part too responsible, reckless, foolhardy. So this is just like them, for sure. But do not underestimate, underestimate them when fighting them. And my second point is, fight them. Kill them, if you will. They've abandoned the true Ankorm to become barbaric robbers. It's good to, f to know you won't feel sorry for your ex-countrymen. I won't. Good luck, Director. Alright, well, thank you. And where is the Free State?
Where is the free state? Oh, they're on the other end of the galaxy. I think that's absolutely fine for right now. <laughs> uh, but man, now we got to keep it out for a super advanced civilization going rogue and stealing stuff. That's awesome. All right, so the collapsed section of the derelict. Sir, a derelict team has reported the section of the ship has collapsed on them, fatally injuring three and injuring two more. The team's medical personnel doing their best to keep the two alive as, as we speak. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, first things first, what do we got here for our fleets? Those are currently being built. We need more ships for this team here. Forget damage is going to be number one. And cross the base unit damage. The two artillery ships in there as well. I think that'd be pretty good. Take three turns to get the, all those fleets up and running. You should have your brand new flagship, you do. So let's start moving you towards the front line. Ah, uh, can't do anything there because there are three fleets here that I do not wish to be here, but are anyways. Uh, medical nanobots has been researched. Good. Now this fleet here is going in this general direction. Have us a wee bit of a scrap, shall we? And we're not overwhelmingly against... Uh, we're all going to overwhelm them, sorry. But uh, this will give us an option to go ahead and get in there, get stuck in. I think these guys are still tier 2. We'll see if we can't force it. I think we got it in the bag. Losses should be minimal on our side. Yep, just ship damage. Mm, how far do we want to push? Let's see if we can park right in here. Hold that point. Oh, what do? What do indeed? I believe this fleet of 85 would be beneficial to at least park here while the larger fleets move into the system. We can defend that point. 645 can move into the main fleet here. Let's see if we can't squeeze them out. Do six battle groups. Who's getting a nuke? You're getting a nuke. You're getting cruises. Uh, maybe beneficial to get... Nope, they're all gone from there. Easy done. No ships lost, just damaged. Oh, buddy. Time to clean you up as well. Now, what are we going to do? Everybody else. Uh, they're going to stay and fight, so we'll nuke them too. Are we doing this because we are going to be doing repairs? It's going to be heavily needed. But I think we can probably turn the anchor point, or that anchor system, into a repair zone. I think that'd be beneficial for us anyways.
Come on, boys, clean them up. Nicely done. So if we take this system here... Which is actually not mine. Oh, I forgot that. Crap. Okay, well... We can't turn that system into repair zone. But the only one that is going to be worth a damn when it comes down to that is going to be maybe this system. Or this system. But once we smash everything here, we got to get our fleets out of here. Or else we're going to wind up having to pay for access to uh, move them around the system again. To be completely honest, I don't know where the next war is going to be. Or the next area of interest is probably going to be. And once Hano goes down, I think the next area we're going to have to worry about is going to be dealing with the Civil War, maybe pushing down over here and doing something about that. But for now, we're just trying to rush our fleets around. One, two. One, two. Hopefully we have enough uh, fleet power to go ahead and keep up with this push. Or else this is going to get very, very tight, very, very quickly. All right. Man, I hope the Inoa clan don't decide to suddenly turn on us as soon as we get Hanoa down. <laughs> We're going to be in a bad spot if they do. I'm just kind of curious, like, should we actually do something about it, though? Because, like I said, there's going to be a couple colonizable areas up here we should probably focus on, too. Ah. Uh, questions, questions. Extraction. Sir, our derelict team has entered an extensive hangar section that has clearly built to house large capital flagships. There is a massive ship present there, much larger than any earthen flagship we've seen. The team was able to fly a scouting drone in and has reported that it's empty and still intact inside based on their scans. The ship itself seems to be interlinked with the derelict's power supply, but we can send a small team to dismantle the linking components on top of the ship, as the hangar's launch bays are still operational and can be used for extraction. What are your orders? Oh, yeah, no, let's secure this ship. Extraction successful, sir. The ship is functional, but we need some repairs and modifications or will be used by our fleet. Done. And where did you wind up at? You wound up right here. FC's V Fleet Group Command. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad, but you need uh You need some new ships, sir. And I'll get this fleet power 365 out of here and start making its way towards the front line. And I believe our operative still has the ability to go ahead and do some more investigations, but we'll leave them there for one more turn so that we can wrap up. Relations with the House of Noah are deteriorating. Oh no. Did we run out of uh, turns already? We shouldn't have run out of turns already. Yeah, we should still have 10 turns. Oh, they're already grumpy at us. Well, that's nice. Well, time to start rapidly pushing as fast as we can. Where can we hit them directly? No way to hit them directly? All right. Well, I guess we'll leave with cruise missiles and nukes. Maybe not nukes. Maybe we'll save the nukes. Oh, you got artillery over here. You're getting a nuke. And some cruise missiles. And now we're taking damage. Have another one. And oh man, this is mo this is going to be expensive.
Can't risk taking the time to do repairs. Not yet. Not yet, anyways. And we gotta push... ...this group here. Oh, bead of sweat starting to form now. Run out of time. We'll hit him there. All right, get out of here, long range. Okay, that drove them back there. We could probably push directly into here. Don't give them any chance to repair. Yeah, let's get him cleaned up. The first group is over here, perfect. That should clean up a fair bit of their ships in this area. Well, some anyways. At least drive them back. There we go. We got three full fleets waiting for us over the, uh, the capital. We got this. Very short war, but... Uh, Things are deteriorating with these guys already. That's not good. Not good. So what are the chances we can upgrade our frontline bases? We need 4,000 rare earths. We can't do it just yet. Get a fleet command complex and boost the crap out of our, uh, our defenses. All along the front lines, do we at least have base stations? We do. We are going to need better. That's all right. We'll just go ahead and boost the uh, system supply hubs, transit hubs, and the whole ma whole nine, and get all of this up and running. So that was brought to my attention too, and it seems like I've forgotten it. And we got all the money, well, not all the money in the world, but we have enough to make this a good go. So might as well. We do a couple more. Fingers crossed, hopefully we get over a thousand on that one. Our reputation is dropping greatly. Uh, that's all right. We can take the hit. So far, we can take the hit anyways. Here's hoping it doesn't go sideways on us too quickly. Yeah, there's no way it's been 10 turns. No way it's been 10 turns. Three transit stations built. <laughs> uh, our operative Miriam Halady has successfully completed the Lok uh, derelict investigation with her team. Perfect. So now we can move on to this one. Uh oh, well, I guess we can't move on to that one not yet. Anyways, first things first. Five hundred and twelve. You got no nukes left. But you're gonna go with. Oh, it's a much larger fleet. Let's roll a 220, and they got a full complement. Looks like they've been busy. That 123 is not going to last. Full frontal? Why not?
Everybody's in bad shape. And one of their stages is going to detonate. I think we managed to catch it. Not bad. Yeah, there's not much left for him here. They are taking free shots at us, which suck. I would very much like to stop that. I got no more cruise missiles for it. That's okay. They're not going to last very much longer. Yep, they're holding in there. Making us work for it. He guys really work for it. Yeah, the so-called nemesis fleet of this faction has been destroyed, and with it likely any hopes of turning the tides in their favor. Good. That looks like they're gone, which is even better. So now we need to get the heck out of this space and back into our own. Jumps there for you. At least everyone's going to be out of the out of these uh, systems here very very quickly. Let's get the rest of these upgraded, shall we? Uh, transports and hubs. Yeah, why not? Why not? Oof. And what was he looking at for construction here? Well, we are going to need a governor, but we don't have enough resources for one, so that'll be next turn. And then we can set everybody else up in the, in the territory we just got. Research is still ongoing. What we should do is these two stations here. Wow, we can't do anything now. I was going to say, maybe getting a... Oh, there is a repair station here already. Perfect. Everybody focused up on some of these and get these repairs rolled in. And then moving the rest of our fleets around. I don't know what we're going to be doing here next. Like, if the Anoa clan decides that, hey, that's about enough of that, we better be able to hit them hard and quick. So maybe start positioning fleets up around the border. Some here, some there, and a couple around here. Uh oh. We've taken over the Hanor system. This should take the fight out of the remaining Hanor units. And Iraq? He wouldn't let himself be captured alive. Oh, so did we? Uh, no, we let him slip away. <laughs> ah! Really? Why? It's the cause, not the man we need to remove. Alive or not, he's out of the game. Mm. <sighs> ah, we shouldn't have let him go. These kinds of people tend to resurface even more determined. Well, he surfaced again right away, but doesn't have anything to fight with anymore. There's enough bad blood between us and the Taminen already. I think we want to be as clean as possible here. That's for sure. And we did offer Iraq an honorable surrender, but it looks like he wants to fight it out to the end. So we've still got some minor mopping up to do. How about the rest of the Empire? They still hate us, but they really, really disagree on the next Emperor. And there have been rumors that some claimants might have been ready to accept or help to get on the throne. Should we want to get into that mess of a civil war? That may be my favorite kind of war. Messy, chaotic, and they just never end. Our top look in the Hanor certainly has got someone's attention. We've shown we're ready to barge into their affairs. That is a decision we need to make if they really come asking for our help. Yeah, colonization should be our number one focus right now. Hanor is a very pleasant planet for humans. It'll help our settling efforts greatly. Good. Keep me informed. Well, that one's done. Alright. Got a governor. 
in line here. Hmm. Uh, volcanic natural beauty. Go ahead and set this person up. We'll get an upgrade going here. And we're going to remove literally everything that's here. That's inactive anyways. We will keep the wellness center. Argus facility. You know, an HET reactor would probably be pretty good. Especially since it contributes to our science. Of course, uh... Uh, well, maybe minerals would be the thing is, uh, deep mining, and we'll get some rare earth refinery set up. And of course they have mineral extraction bonus, so we might as well go ahead and get some strip mines up as well. That's all the resources we got. All right, let's get the fleets out of here. Uh, right. We'll get you out of there that way. These guys are out. Those guys are out. There's just the one fleet left for one more turn. All right. It's not bad. Hopefully we can get out of here without uh, damaging our relationship with the Anoa here too bad. Mm. One more turn, that's all I ask. That's all I ask, come on. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice and we'll see. <laughs> oh, you're sweating bullets. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Mm. Nemesis flagship repaired. Sir, we managed to repair the flagship of the recent Nemesis fleet we defeated. It has now been deployed. It's not made by us, but it can still fly and fight, so why not? Oh, very good. Ooh, very nice. 140 fleet power right off the bat. All right, let's get you down here. All right, first things first, let's get our fleet out of here before we forget. Yay, everybody's out of enemy space. Life is good. Well, just about enough to get it all set up. Boost our resources. Repair our fleets. And we got a couple more systems up over here that still need transit or supply hubs. And yes, we do. Well, maybe a whole sector of space. <laughs> just a few. Just a few. Ah, oh, well. Relations approving the Ancorum PPG, good. Research is complete. We'll have to get some new research options rolling around here, and someone wants to have a chat with us. Let's go ahead and see who's going on. So, Danabots, hmm? We really are doing everything our parents' generation dreamed about. Or at least your parents' generation, Mr. Locke. My parents' generation were already laying the groundwork for what we've done now. I suppose. I've only read of these small things from science fiction novels. I doubt they were the most correct representation. You'd be surprised, Mr. Locke. Some got it quite right. So what can we actually do with them? Well, plenty of things, but most important would be ship hulls. They can self-repair even in the middle of combat. The weirder part being that we do move a bit, even when not actively self-repairing. You know, recalibration and such. The crews have found it slightly unsettling. 
How about the controlled self-replication? Can that lead to uncontrollable self-replication? Become our own mechanical biomass? I'd like to say that's impossible and everything is under control, but that would be a little cliche, wouldn't it? Of course it can lead to it, but it's highly unlikely, which was enough in our calculations. <laughs> Thank you, that's, uh, reassuring. Yeah, yeah, I just hope the calculations were correct to Dr. Lorenz. I didn't even think about that. Didn't even think about that. Whoops. The so self-replicating nanobots are up. And the shielding is done. Nanofiber habitats are up. Hmm. Oh, we should probably go to AI. Just for those bonuses to production. Ah, yeah. My goodness, the research tree is actually starting to look a little bit barren. Time's out changing. All right, let's see what we've got for fleets. 445 for repair. Let's get you back on your feet. 262, we got enough for that as well. I got five of my fleets right here. Five of ten. The other ones are currently undergoing either refit or new ships being added to their lines. But I would really like to get my rare earth up. So once we've got these guys under repair, because it is going to take several turns anyways, uh, then we can start focusing more on the economy side of things. I have quite interesting news. More than one of the Tamina pretenders to the throne have started seeking a discreet communication channel with us. Their ulterior motives are still unclear, of course, but we can make a few very educated guesses. Interesting. Now we are suddenly good enough to sit at the same table with them? I don't think they're holding us in any higher regard than before, but I suppose we have something they want. And what's that? Military power? Uh, that would be my guess. The two factions that have contacted us are both weaker and more remote ones. One is Admiral Afar Sanui, the head of the clique of younger military officers based at Soroa. Our intel of him says he's a reformist who seeks abolishment of the old power structures of the Tamanan Empire as it was, in order for the Empire to have any future in the new order of the Pegasus Galaxy. The one that includes us. Revolutionary. More like a populist. All of that is probably exactly what the Tamanan public wants to hear right about now. But perhaps. The second one is the former Imperial Marshal Sakarno Afar, who established a military junta of sorts in Rukoi. He has a reputation, especially among the Mal Malstricketh clans, as a harsh and efficient conqueror and occupier. And he rather amusingly still keeps calling himself the Imperial Marshal. That sounds like your typical military man turned politician. He's apparently not exactly popular among the crowds, but commands respect in the military. There's one thing Admiral Sonoy and Marshal Afara have in common. They stand no chance to the throne without outside help. There are many stronger and more legitimate competitors in the Tamanan core areas. Hmm. So why does that matter to us? Cooperation with the claimant could be beneficial. If we can install an emperor with certain strings attached, well, that could really stabilize our position here. Hard to see what harm it could do. Well, it's a war of secession. A civil war, basically. Civil wars have a tendency to be messy and to last forever. If we take part, it may be hard to get out. Of course, there are some risks involved. Should our claimant fail, our support of him will hurt our relations with the one who succeeds. But it's still tempting. What are we going to do then? We are not committing heavily to anything but hear by hearing one of them out. Ah, uh, well. Imperial Marsher wants the old ways. Well, the old ways got you almost killed. So let's hear what the reformist has to say. Well, that guy sure seems like someone who has a big future ahead of him. I will arrange an audience with a representative. Okay, in the meantime... That fleet actually doesn't need repairs. Which is quite nice. This one ever does. 262. 479 for you. Yeah.
Can't put you there, but we can put you up here. This five seven or five five seven fleet, I think, is full. That is correct. Slide you on up that way as well. And you need ships. Ships we can't afford at the moment. That's all right. Now, the beauty part is our to-do list is significantly smaller. Aside from the fact that the two D locations we have to deal with are here. Way down here. And right here as well. Which kind of sucks. So that means we might have to push into the uh Inoa clan a little sooner than I'd like. Welcome, Director of the Zeus Link Feet. And Grad Emerald L O D Perone, I presume. Peron, I oh I forgot. Perone. We're a little surprised to find out it's you, Chancellor Harry, it's representing the Soro government. Yeah, good to meet you, Chancellor. The Empire needs a new ruler after the Sulkan dynasty went unexpectedly extinct. And I believe Afar Sanui is the one who would be the new Emperor. We are sorry about the events of Anaba. It wasn't entirely intentional. I would like to say something bitter and righteous here. But let's save the talk for better times and concentrate now on making Admiral Sanui the Emperor. After all, I'm the one seeking cooperation with you. Okay, that sounds good. Let's be realistic. If our Sanoi doesn't stand a real chance at the throne as long as the strongest claimant, Asaka Anoa, was around and holds the capital system her. <sighs> Inoa. Of course they would pit us against the Inoa clan. Of course they would. Why wouldn't they? Oh, no. Well, I guess it is kind of two birds, one stone. Somewhat. I am so... <laughs> it's expected. Um, Why didn't you support Asako Noah, then, if he's the most obvious successor? He was the main opposition figure to Solok during the last decade. I've been playing against him long enough to not be on very good personal terms with him. Oh, yeah. I think he's a power-hungry fool who only wants to be the center of attention, but has very little interest in doing anything meaningful with that power and attention. He fires different. He'll get something done. So you want us to help in getting rid of the competition? Put it very bluntly, which seems to be the way you humans prefer? Yes. I'm sure you can imagine the benefits of having an ally crowned as the new emperor. <laughs> I see. We'll consider this and contact you shortly. A most interesting situation. Harry yourself is asking for support in making her candidate the Emperor. I've never seen the claimant guy himself, but it sounds like she has some strings attached to him as well. For sure. What are we getting into if we agree to support Harry and her guy? Based on what she said, they need the house of Anoa removed. And to take control of the capital. That at least. Nothing small that Anoa is <laughs> nothing small that Asaka Anoa is the strongest of the post Solak era warlords. And it's a long way to her. Yes, it doesn't come free. What do we do, Director? Do we want to take this chance or pass? Oh boy, here I go. Back to war again. Ah. And let's do it. We want to fight these warlords anyway, and this gives us some legitimacy to do so. That's correct. I will inform Chancellor Harry. Here we go. Well, we need... We got one fleet there. Slide this 140... Nope, 140 is not going to go there. You need ships. We don't have enough resources to get you all the way there. But what do we have? Decent fleet power there. Well, ships holding the system here. No throughway that I can see here.
Oh, the question then comes down to... Will the toe go against us? I don't think they will. Who is Anoa friends with? They have a defensive alliance with the Toe Clan. So what you're saying is... What you're saying is, there's a very good chance... We're about to get kicked right in the teeth. On our eastern flank. Uh, okay, so what can we do? What choke points do we have? We don't have much for choke points. That is pretty much clear. We can have... <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Uh, how is this gonna play out? This is a very large area of space we gotta try and nail down here all of a sudden. This is about to get very, very dicey. Oh well, we'll do one more turn and see how this goes. Should be fine. Should be fine. <laughs> I'm literally almost in tears. I need more fleets like this is something I guess I have to seriously consider is that uh... yep here we go Ifar Sanoi super of the time and throne welcome it is a pleasure to meet you I understand that we've reached an agreement about our shared stance concerning the succession pleasure and yes we have decided to support you I'm most pleased to hear that. Like we discussed, there is one thing we need help your help with. The House of Anoa must become extinct, just like their blood relatives in the House of Solak did. Only then do we have a believable claim to the throne. Extinct? Isn't just dethroning them and throwing them out of the capital enough? It could be enough, but you know, unfinished feuds tend to resurface. We should have assassinated Asaka Anoa a decade ago, but Empress Solak was always against it. We even considered assassinating the leadership of your fleets before the battle at Anaba. You did. You, Grand Admiral Ferran, and Admiral Reed were deemed too threatening. Admiral Dan stood for a more defensive approach, which we would have preferred. Uh, why didn't you try it, then? Emperor Solok was against that, too. So, we try to fight or buy our way out of the... In wait, fight or buy our way to the Inoi. You focus on remaining relevant and alive. I wouldn't be surprised if your feeling towards Asaka and the other claimants were dangerously mutual. There are many who want me to retire permanently, but don't worry. Don't get this fire in Tamman in politics if you are easy to assassinate. Yes, best of luck in your campaign against the Inoi. We'll keep in touch. So that's expired. Oh, that's so far away. It's so far away. Oh, no. Okay. How are we going to do this? They're still friendly. Oh, uh, still friendly. Maybe this is going to take a turn. Well, 
One turn for it to click, and away we go. And potentially. And the question is, do we want to smash this way, take this territory here, so we don't have anyone on our back, which is probably smart. We'll figure out exactly where we're going to be doing the rest of this stuff. Any more cruisers? Well, we're, we're working on it. We're getting there somewhere. Somewhat. <laughs> ah, well, on the bright side, I guess in the next episode, more war. Yeah. Nope, we're, uh, we're going to be doing more war. This is going to be... This is my life now. It's just going to be constant war while we try and find more colonizable areas where we can better set up uh, Argus facilities. That's uh, that's what we got now. Yep. Yep. That's the way she's going to go. Well, thank you very much for checking out the episode. I greatly appreciate the support. If you've liked what you've seen so far, don't forget to hit the like button. If you really want to support the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. If you happen to have any sort of constructive criticism whatsoever or some sort of feedback, by all means, the comment section is open. I like to hear from everybody. I do greatly appreciate the ideas and support and suggestions that we do come up in the um, in the suggestion sections here every now and then. In the meantime, thank you very much, everybody, for coming on out. I hope you have yourself a wonderful evening. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.